Yeah. Happy, New Year! Happy New Year! And welcome to the brand new Emily the Writer 2020 channel. I'm so, so excited to bring you this epic vlog today. Um, my first epic vlog of many. And I'm joined by my lovely assistant, Chris Mills, <laughs> also actor and soon to be YouTube vlogger yourself. Am I right? That's right, yeah. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Are you looking forward to today? Yes and no. Because you kind of know what's coming up, but the audience doesn't. So they're in for a surprise, yeah. but you know what's coming. Yeah, I kind of know what's coming. And there's, there's one in particular that I'm really not looking forward no, to. No, me neither. Yeah. I'm, I, don't, I don't think we're going to stomach it. So um, we've got a trusty bowl at the ready. But first up, we have raw eggs. Drinking raw eggs is a hangover cure. We've seen it all before, and we've seen it all before for fitness as well. I mean, can you remember the Rocky Rocky scene where you drink yeah. six raw eggs, like breakfast of champions? Yeah, um, well. But the original hangover cure was a little bit different to just the whole cracked egg in a glass. No, it was originally... Sit there and have a prairie oyster okay. um, but right now it just feels dirty to me so yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna get some salt if you want to grab your your egg can so it's kind of sticking to the bottom wrong glasses so we put some salt <laughs> and a little bit of pepper and I'm gonna start adding my you're gonna get the hot sauce Tabasco you're well, gonna go the whole brands are available you're gonna go everything I think I'm gonna put too much pepper in oh there you go. So, are you going to do everything? Or we, should we do the whole hog together, suffer together? Yeah, okay. we'll, we'll do it together. So, vinegar. I don't know what vinegar they used. I don't think makes the uh, Manson Sarsons, not Manson's, malt <laughs> vinegar was the best way. Um, so, this might not work, but mm. it might just make it more horrific. <laughs> there you go. I'm just going to put a drop. Um, oh, dear. Did you just... <laughs> I did just drop a lot of pepper in there. So, uh, but you love pepper, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, so I'm going to put, hopefully not too much hot sauce. Tabasco is the win. Oh, it's not coming out, has it? Oh, oh no, no, that's way too much. And finally, the Lee Worcestershire sauce. Oh, that stuff's amazing. I think that's brand new. It is indeed. Brought just for this video. Ooh. So, Chris, where can we find you on, on online? What is your social media? So you can find me at CS Mills Official, and that's uh, Instagram and Twitter, and Facebook, Facebook as well. Hmm. Got all three. The Holy Trinity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, oh, it smells horrible. Right, we... I, don't, I don't know whether to like, mix this I'm gonna up. I'm going to mix or... it because it's stuck to the bottom. Yeah, like, I think I need a fork, bear with me. No! <laughs> no! Oh, don't know if you can see. Oh, oh. <laughs> there goes my egg. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your way of trying to get out of this? <laughs> no, I've still got some left. Oh, God, that's the worst bit. Um, okay, do you, want, do you want that to mix it in? No. Or have you I, just conveniently I, dropped it all on the side? So I dropped all of my egg trying to show the viewers so they can they know not to make the same mistake oh. as us. Just in case. Oh, yours Mikey is so grim! Like it's all mixed together. It looks pretty grim. Cheers to the new year. Chin chin. 2020. Oh. It's not that bad. Yeah, but it wasn't pleasant. The Tabasco makes it. If it wasn't for the Tabasco, I probably would have vomited. Like. It's not so bad. I mean, it's a lot better than drinking I mean, a raw egg. <laughs> oh. I mean, we technically still did drink a raw egg. Yeah, but compare that to a raw egg on its own without the Worcester sauce and Worcester yeah. sauce. Yeah, the Worcester sauce. So, yeah. out of ten, how would you rate the prairie oyster or raw eggs as the, a hangover cure? The taste uh, as a hangover cure. Um, <laughs> would you drink this hungover? <clears throat> I could see this being an extremely good hangover cure because it probably makes you like empty the contents of your <laughs> stomach from the night before. Um, but the taste score, it doesn't actually taste that bad. It's the consistency okay. for me. So overall, out of 10? Uh, I'm, I'm giving this 
it wasn't that bad, so is 10 like the worst? No, the 10 would be the best. Okay, all right, cool. I'm, I'm going to give this a solid 7. 7 out of 10 for raw eggs and the prairie oyster. So our second hangover cure, which is the one we're both least looking forward to, it's going to be horrible, and we definitely don't recommend it, is all the way from Germany, um, and is called hangover breakfast, or Katafrühstück. I may have got that wrong, but... Hey ho. So uh, what we're actually going to be eating itself is not the whole hangover breakfast, but a part of the hangover breakfast or katafrustuk. And that is called a roll mop. And we've got these. Um, <laughs> what they essentially are is it's pickled herring <laughs> wrapped around a savory filling, which is normally olive or pickled gherkin or an onion. And then you stab it with a cocktail stick and eat it. I did had not have any cocktail sticks, so we just have, I think I'll show you. I don't think anything I can say can explain this horror. It's just a pickle <laughs> and a pickled herring. It's uh, very slimy. Um, so here is your pickled herring. Thank you. Or your roll mop. Even the name itself doesn't sound good. Yeah. I'm only going to take a bite. I can't do the whole thing. Yeah, no. no. And I apologise in advance. Right. If, Ready? Uh, Three, two, two one. one. Oh. 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 You need the bucket. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Oh, the aftertaste. Ugh. No. <laughs> so, the roll mops were really, really popular, especially in the early 19th century of Germany. I have no idea why. No, um, not a fan of that. <laughs> when the uh, long rail networks opened from the North Baltic Sea to the cent central of Germany, mm -hmm. it means that pickled herring could be transported easily. Mm -hmm. To me, that I would still not want to buy them. No. no, but Germans, you know, apparently love them so much that pickled herrings went through the roof in sales. So kudos to them, but... To each their own. Out of ten? Uh, <laughs> one. <coughs> that was horrible. That was two of my least favourite things. So hangover cure number three comes from Japan, which is a absolutely wonderful place. I, I love Japan. But sadly, these things I do not. They are called <laughs> umiboshi, and they are a particular... Japanese plum, actually more similar to apricots, believe it or not, not very similar to plums at all. Um, and they are preserved in salt um, to the point where they become so acidic that they would eat through aluminium lunchboxes in the 1960s. That's crazy. Imagine what that does to your insides. <laughs> yep. So the, the way to actually take this hangover cure is not as we're doing now. Um, you should take it before you go to bed when you're absolutely hammered, um, or at least try to, and then drink, drink loads and loads of water. The um, acid and how salty it is will ferment in your gut and will help ease your hangover. Mm. But does it taste any good? Let's find out. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> it doesn't look pleasant. So, Sweetwood. I'd like to show everyone what, <laughs> so, um, that's the tin, and this is what an Boshi plum looks like. Um, <laughs> So yeah. take your Umiboshi plum. Thank you. We're gonna chase away the hangover like the Japanese do. Although they put these, they like, the Japanese like these so much, they put them in their everyday food. Oh, really? Like um, onigiri, which is rice balls that they'll typically have for lunch. And they'll be in the center of that. Mm. And I don't know why. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <coughs> mm -mm. <coughs> uh. Oh. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh. Anyway. We are back. Sorry about that. How was the umiboshi, Chris? It was disgusting, Emily. It was it was really nasty. And we thought the pickled herring and the gherkin was bad. The the roll mop. Mm. 
Yeah. Oh. To pick between the two is a hangover cure. If you had to. If I had to. Uh, I'd probably pick the Umi Bolshi actually. Oh no! I, th I think that would be better as a hangover cure and more palatable than the pickle. But remember, you'd have to carry. take it before you go to bed. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, if I can eat a kebab when I'm drunk. So out of ten, how would you rate that overall? Uh, out of ten, I would give that a three. Minus, minus for me. Yeah, yeah. Minus. Oh, that was hideous. So um. At least the lesson we've learnt from this is that the Japanese are hardcore. The yeah. fact that they will eat those just for lunch. Looking forward to, actually. This is <laughs> going to be nice compared to the other things we've had so far. I'm still feeling really queasy. <laughs> yeah. How are you feeling about the green tea? You? Oh, I think it's going to be just what I need to settle down my stomach after the ume 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 umeboshi. Mm -hmm. Umeboshi. Well, a little known fact for you. So green tea has been around for a, a very, very, very long time. It's been all over um, the kind of like eastern side of the globe, but it's been popular in China since about the 12th century. Mm. Um, and it's been speculated to be around before that. Mm, we just yeah. have no hard evidence. It's very mm. fascinating, actually. Definitely. Mm. And, you know, it's got roots in India and Japan as well. So mm. long, long history. Yeah. Where's our tea from today? So our tea, I bought it from Amazon because mm -hmm. uh, corporate overlords. Good um show. But it's a premium dragon well. It's currently stewing here, um, almost done, ready to pour. And I cannot wait. Um, with with green tea, it's always best to have loose leaf. It's better for you, more organic. Mm -hmm. It's just better in all ways, really. Ethical, you know, you name it. Um, so we're going to have some of that and then tell you what it's like. Definitely. So here we are. We've got our green tea. Let's give this a try. Mm. Mm. I love green tea so much. Mm. Really clean taste. Mm. I think after a hangover, after a long night, you know, New Year's Eve, you've had a, a hard night, been been at it, and then you come, you wake up, and you are just absolutely shattered and horrible. And having a cup of this in the morning, I think, perfect. Definitely. Yeah. It soothes your stomach, it makes you feel <laughs> good, and it's so, so healthy for you too. Yeah. Green tea contains something called polyphenols in it, and uh, they've been proven to help, you know, reduce everything from blood pressure to helping with arthritis and. And apparently, it helps cure arthritis. Alzheimer's and cancer. Mm. Allegedly, so. Yeah. So the next hangover cure is absolutely awesome. I cannot wait to try it. We've got it here right. From Tunisia or from the Middle East, because um, this variation um, of dish or hangover cure is mixed up wherever you go so from israel to turkey to the ottoman maghreb it's all different but it all comprises of a tomato spicy stew if you will mm. Mm. and then eggs are poached in it so um the name for it is called shakshuka or shak shak shakshuka or shakshoka and it essentially means mixed up or mixture in arabic so it can have whatever you want in it but it does comprise of the tomato base so we've got a It's looking so good. Yeah, so uh, here's a spoon. Okay. There's your spoon there, actually. Thank you. So uh, help yourself. So right. this is the mixture. Mm -hmm. As you can see, it's absolutely piping hot. Mm. Get, a bit get a bit of egg. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. How would you find that in the morning? That's so good. Hungover. That would be like for anyone who doesn't like really like heavy food when mm -hmm. they're hungover, this would be perfect. Mm -hmm. It's really quick and easy to make. It's brilliant. And like I said, you can have loads of different variations of it. For me, I put chorizo in there because we're feeling a bit naughty. Mm. But if you're vegetarian, you can have eggplant or aubergine in there. You name it. It's brilliant. And you can mix up the spices. It's just a brilliant dish. Quick and easy brunch kind of meal. Mm. Out of 10. Definitely 10. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Someone will attest to how good this is as a hangover cure. Mm -hmm. uh, Emily, you've got the vegetarian version, I believe. I do, yes. So, um, 
Obviously the staple for Phil English breakfasts include bacon, sausage, you've got the toast in there, you've got mm -hmm. the eggs. Um, but obviously if you're vegetarian, you can obviously sausage and bacon, what do you replace those with? So I've got obviously some homemade hash browns, they're another staple, but I've gone for a healthier alternative compared to the battered greasy one, yep. which is homemade potato rosti. Grated uh, potato, mix in some herbs, little bit of onion, fry it up, wonderful. Brilliant. Obviously, just got some um, halloumi here. We've got on Chris's plate, we've got oh, battered halloumi. Oh, yes. Greasy, fatty, perfect what you need after a hangover and a heavy night. But if you want to go for a healthy alternative, something a bit lighter on the stomach, if you're like me and we don't do too well with grease after a heavy night, um, I've just got some fried halloumi, pepper, salt, lemon, and a bit of lime to give it a little bit of kick. Mm. Mm. Fried veggies will be your favourite. You can fry them, you can bake them, whatever, easy, 20 minutes in the oven. We've got asparagus and broccoli stem, really good for you. And finally, we've got garlic and parsley roasted mushrooms. Chestnut mushrooms, they've got a little bit more taste to them, a bit of more woodiness, um, and this is perfect for any veggie, veggie in the morning. And obviously, beans, bread, and eggs on top. And you've obviously got so the full works. <laughs> bacon, eggs, I've taken some battered halloumi pieces as well. I've got the potato rosti as well, and then some sourdough mm. bread buttered for, for good measure. And why do we have sourdough bread? We have sourdough bread because it's a healthier option. It's, uh, it's a much better uh, bread for you than our kind of like white uh, versions that we usually go for. Sourdough mm -hmm. promotes a healthier environment in your gut. Mm -hmm. and you've also got the eggs there. You've got a, a certain enzyme in that called choline, which is actually linked to why this is such a good hangover cure. That helps your body process fats and fats and alcohol go hand in hand to get processed by the liver. Mm -hmm. So let's tuck in and see what it's like. Obviously we've had many a fry up before, but <laughs> how does this one fare? So I'm just gonna start with my mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Mm. I love the mushrooms. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. I'm going for a, for a sausage first of all, I think. <laughs> He's going for a sausage first of all, if you didn't hear that right. Of course. Yep. Mm. Mm. So out of 10, how would you rate this cure? As a cure for a hangover, mm. um, I would always rate the fry up an absolute 10 out of 10. So there you have it, six of the worst and then the best hangover cures from around the world. We've gone from America to Tunisia and all the way ending up in the UK, where I think we have the best hangover cure, um, definitely compared to Japan, because that umiboshi, yeah. never ever again. <laughs> So if you want to read more about these hangover cures and a little bit more history about all of them, their origins or some interesting facts, down in the description below I have attached a blog link to my website where you can read some really cool things, um, even including some different variations of the shakshuka, including um, what Israel does. They will have their uh, shakshuka or shakshuka and then they'll scramble the eggs afterwards, making a very creamy eggy mix. Mm. Very interesting. Yeah. So have a look at that, have a read of that, and let us know what you think. If you want to see any of the recipes of the food that we covered today, maybe you want to see the ultimate full English breakfast, or you want to learn a, my own variation of the shakshuka, well, let me know in the comments section below, and I will get on that for you. So where, where can we find you, Chris, before we say goodbye? I'll be at CS Mills Official on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And what about you, Emily? So as you guys know, I am on YouTube at Emily the Writer one but it's the same for Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook as well. Just Emily the Writer number one. Find me on all those platforms and say hi. Very happy to get in touch with you guys and let me know what you guys want me to do next. 2020 is going to be a great year. What are you going to do with it?